Oh, hi. I'm not looking the right way. Okay, this is beautiful. After all, spending all that time fixing it up. Anyways. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm just uh, seeing a mic in my face. So I'll move that. It's been a while since I've... Oh, my God. Sorry, guys. All right. I need to be able to see what I'm doing. I'm sorry. Okay, let's go. What did I do? I mean, how awkward it looks. I have the camera in a new place. Also, as you guys can see, this is me not redrawing this page. <laughs> but the pose was awful. It was so out of perspective and stuff. I've been working on a lot of other stuff too lately for uh, Zeus Kiosk as well. What the hell did I do there? Um, Hi, I see Dead Arts is here. Hydrating me. Rude. I'll drink my water, though. Once I finish this finger. I hate fingers. They're a pain in the ass to draw. <sighs> Hydrate.
hydration. Nobody actually needs fingers, right? It's all just a stat or what cosmetic? Is that it? I'm sure that's true. I mean, what do you really get out of having fingers? Begging strips? I give myself, but I don't have thumbs. Yum, yum, yum. It's begging! Hi. It's been a weird day. Oh my gosh, something looks so off about this. Maybe the thumbs just look too small. Hi, firearm! I said this is, oh yeah, if you look here, that's the original one. <laughs> You've gone full salary, man. Are you wearing a tie and everything? What side is his hair thing on? It's that side. I like how I'm trying not to read you all this and I still am. I can't, I can't not. Fries, fries. Thank you. Oh, ugh. that sucks. Although I'm going to be working more hours at the comic book store, so. We have a break room and he's like, you should go hide in it. And I was like, no. I'll do exactly what I've always done. Absolutely nothing. Oh, and he's got, yeah, it's that outfit. I'm like, wait, which outfit of his am I drawing? I've drawn his other one so much lately. Well, the last time I've drawn, it's been a while since I've actually had a chance to like work on these. I do have a commission to finish still, a couple actually, but I was like, I don't have them to a point where I felt comfortable like actually streaming them. One of them I'm still working on the pose. So <sighs> I have so much to do, so little time. Hey, one of you guys want to help me? You guys can learn how to do backgrounds or learn how to redraw pages, right? You just have to match my style, right? How hard could it be? How hard could it be? Oh, God. I would never ask somebody to try to um, ink my lines, though. They're chaotic as fuck. Which reminds me how I look like I'm really off kilter again. So I have um, my my camera in a new spot today. I'm trying to alleviate uh, the the weird. I guess I had some weird jiggling going on. I didn't know about until Wong pointed it out. So uh, which one is in the front? <laughs> I can't even tell from that. Omission. I guess I could pull up my actual reference of him instead of going towards this one all the time. But I was trying to make it not too much different. This is going to like look strangely really good now compared to the rest of the page. Oh, well. Omission, omission. assets. And we need omission. Omission, omission. Yeah, like, let me know if like my, my thing goes really wild or something too. So like if I start like running off. Okay, here we go. Um, oh, okay, it goes that way. See, I wouldn't know. Just because I designed this character doesn't mean I know shit about it. But yeah, part of it is just after a while, you know. You redeemed Fry Drum. That's why it played something. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Let me let me play your Fry Drum. Can you guys let me know if you guys can still hear it? Was that, was that uh, hearable? Hearable? Is that a word? Audible. Audible. <laughs> hearable. <laughs> Haribo. That's gummies, right? I don't actually think they're that good, though. They're always like, oh, they're amazing. I'm like, no, I'd rather have... What's that place called? Oh, my God. It's right near me, too. 
It's our Albanese, Albanese. Uh, if you're not like in the Midwest, I don't know if you guys actually get them, but I'm right near the actual Albanese candy factories, so it's amazing. I mean, it's still like a half hour drive out, especially with traffic, but still. I guess I really don't have to make this like perfect, perfect. It just bothers me. You know how it is. So today at work, I was uh, putting away comics. And like, um, I think I mentioned this on one of the other streams last week. We had all that flooding, like or the roof leaked. So yeah, a lot of stuff got ruined. Um, we've officially got it all cleared out. We should be getting the check tomorrow from the roofers. So all is good. I guess it ends well. It's just kind of a pain in the ass. So anyways, I was putting away comics today. And I'm not too far from the area where it originally... Um, you know, the roof flooded and suddenly I'm like, something is like hitting my back, like dripping down my back. And I was like, oh God, am I like bleeding from like my head? And then I was like, wait a second, this positioning makes no sense unless I'm like bleeding from above me. And then I'm like, wait, the ceiling's above me. And sure enough, we were getting water in through the ceiling. And of course I'm panicking. And then I, I call out to my boss like, John, there's water falling from this. It's dripping from on me. And like, he starts panicking and we get a bucket and put it under it. Luckily, it only went for like a bit and it, it would stop and go and stop and go, but then eventually it like stopped. But we had a bucket over it even when I left. And when I asked, uh, you know, I was like, I mentioned to John, I was like, I'm pretty sure, yeah, my boss's name is John. It's pretty generic, but you know, that's his actual name. I'm not making this up. But, um, anyways, uh, so yeah, well, we were working, well, you know, I had mentioned it, I'm like, you should probably leave, at least leave the bucket up overnight, he's apparently been tarping everything ever since that incident, I was like, okay, I don't blame you on that at all, and like I said, it was so dumb, like, you know, you would think the people who are pros and know what they're doing would know what they're doing, but it's a lie, how do you let so much leak, so much water leak through roofs? Like every single building, like a uh, business in that strip mall got something. So it was pretty, pretty freaking dumb. You know, but whatever. We're, we're, you know, doing okay now. So mm, I guess it would still be like that. Just pain in the ass though. They still have so much of our parking lot torn up too, so it's not fun. I don't even know if they're gonna like ever get this, this stupid construction done. That's how I feel anymore. Oh my God, I give him such big ears. Well, let's do his nose first. <laughs> like guys, isn't this amazing me not redrawing this? I'm doing so great at it. I still need to do all the chibis, too. The books are supposed to come in on the 1st of December, but, like, I uh, realize they're still sitting in the uh, haven't reviewed file stage, and I was like, oh, no, what's wrong? Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. It's quite a few books coming, so... Uh, and they're not, like... Yeah, I guess I, like, never really thought about it because when I'd been talking to people about pricing comics and they're all like, oh, yeah, like, I sell mine for this. I was like, oh, fuck, am I selling mine too, for too high? And then, like, they're all, like, you know, like, 30 pages or 60 pages at the most. And I'm, like, 120-something, 130. Oh, no, 144, I think, was the uh, final count. What is his mouth? Is it open? Yeah, it's just open. I'm still trying not to spend too much time on these. I I can do better, so I want them to look better, but I also don't want to, like, spend all the time in the world, you know, cleaning them up and then not have time to do other stuff because I have so much I need to get done still. Yeah, I'm just going over his other salts. That's fine, right? Oh, bah, 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 bah. 
Did I make his head too long? I feel like it is too long. Like it should be lower. It's okay. It's fine. I think that looks better, don't you guys? I think I need to like bang a little more though. Do that maybe? I might need to shrink that size down anyways. Okay. There you go. That's that's more bearable, I think. At least to me. I know you guys are like, I see nothing. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Mm. Anybody have any like exciting plans for the holidays? Or did any wait, what was we had a holiday, right? It was gobble gobble day, right? Yeah. Thanksgiving, what day is it? It's Tuesday, right? I don't know. Mine wasn't particularly like different than usual or anything. Although um, after, uh, we, so we, we hold a uh, Thanksgiving dinner at uh, Kitten's house. Uh, so after um, dinner, uh, my parents left and Wong and I stayed behind to play some magic with her and uh, her squish or whatever. What are they called? Squeeze? Is that the word? Anyways, I was very happy that, um, so her cat Yumiko, which you guys, if you've seen her streams, you've probably seen uh, Yumiko on there a lot because she's the orange and white tabby that's always like jumping in her lap. But um, the black cat Mystical came and sat in my lap during the game because Yumiko had her lap. And I was like, this is fine. This is great. Come cat. I am the chosen lap. What the hell is going on? Eh? What is going on? Uh, eh? R RTD? I see I see you playing stuff, but I see absolutely nothing. Eh? Nani? Nani? Eh? No, no, nani? Oh, wait. Do I have something on twice? Is that what it is? I don't know. I don't even know. Eh? BGM's still playing. Do you guys not hear it? Give me a second. It's been playing this whole time. Eh. What are you doing? Not filter. I'm sorry, guys. Why didn't anybody tell you? Tell, tell me. Do you guys hear it now? No? Now? No. Eh? Do you guys hear it now? Do you hear it now? Okay, good. So, like, every time... Ah! Why is my mic twice? That's weird. Um, every time... Uh... Ooh, sorry. DPU Plus is right. Okay. Every... What was this one for? I don't even know. Anyways, uh, okay. So yeah, no, it's it's just uh, every time there's an update. Why is it still doubling? You guys hear that too, right? I'm not crazy, right? Right? Wait, how do I play my own sound alerts? I don't know. Yeah, it is doubled, right? I'm not going crazy. Maybe now. Maybe now will be better? I think so. Maybe. Maybe I just had that as wrong. Okay. We'll try. We'll, we'll wait for it to come around again. I'm sorry, guys. I am so dumb with this. Did you know that? Did you know? I am not tech savvy. I just pretend I know what I'm doing. It's a lie. An absolute lie. Okay, but at least I know that we're all hearing the same stuff. Uh, 
I'll have to like test it again better. I want to see because yeah, I was like, I'll turn back on my pot of because it's it's uh it's winter time, it's Christmas time or some shit, you know. So make sure you guys all give me great presents, okay? Lots of fries, please. Onigashimas. I'm still very tired. Okay. Uh... <laughs> All the fries. Yeah. So many fries. Happy Friday! Mumichin, your hair's so whack. Who the fuck designed you? Oh right, it was me. It's still me. Next week might be different for stream stuff because I'm starting uh, my, I guess, I, I don't, I wouldn't say full-time hours, but that's what he called him today. I, I'm going to be working more hours at the comic book shop, so starting next week, which means more pay. Yay. I can always use more pay, can't we all? But it also means that I'm working an extra two hours on uh, most of the days. So that also means that the stream might have to get delayed or just like ignored. I try to stream at least. I've been trying to stream at the same time every week so you guys can like find me easier and stuff. But also, like I said, as you've seen, I do not have the patience to like just do an art stream all by myself and just like sit in silence or whatever. I get bored and then I want to do something. I'm often like watching stuff in the background. Not now, but uh, not while I'm streaming, but you know like when I'm drawing and I find that works almost better. So like, I can't do that when I stream. So if you guys are quiet, this is what happens. I just get tired. This narcolepsy shit is like so bad. I, I mean, like I had heard about it before. I think we all had, but I, what I thought it was and how it actually works are not exactly the same. Oh. I'm still working on getting it fixed, but you know. I like how I'm like, I shouldn't spend too much time on this and I've been redrawing the same goddamn hair strand for how long now? Okay, I'll stop. Kojika, stop. Don't you touch it. I see where you want to do. No, no. Okay, no, I stop, I swear. I have no idea, actually. I mean, to be fair, like with some of the stuff, like not what I'm doing now, but some of the other stuff, when I was doing that, um, that Christmas story of those kiosks that's getting published with Antarctic Press, uh, both Kitten and Wong actually did a little on it. Uh, specifically what they did is drop flat color, which basically is they took like my finished line art like this and just filled the color in, um, for some of the, the pasta. And then I went and shaded it later. But like even stuff like that can help sometimes because I was like with that one, I was like, oh my God, I'm having to spend so much time filling this. And actually like typesetting and stuff is pretty easy to learn if you have the right, like, uh, yeah, typesetting would be lettering. It's super easy to learn digitally because there's a lot better of an environment for it. So like, yeah, that's another thing. I was like, some days I'm just like, oh my God, if I wasn't doing all this. And I feel like screen toning is definitely something I could teach somebody. Mm, like, so I do, as, as you guys can see over here, I think, can you see this? I always do, uh, layers for everything. So like, this is my line art layer and then there's layers. Like this one is a little different than I normally do because of the fact that I'm redrawing an already flattened image. Um, but yeah, typically I, 
am uh, doing like the line art layers on top and everything gets colored underneath it. So it's, it's a lot easier. I do one layer for each color. And so that means that if I'm messy, nobody will notice. So it's not too bad. Yeah, sometimes when I have like hot, tight deadlines, the problem is right now with um, this, uh, with the stuff I'm working on right now, this is for volume one, the full colored version, which you guys are like, what? You still haven't finished that? Yeah, that's right. I still haven't. Um, the reason is, is because this, you know, what I'm doing here is I'm like redrawing so much, but the format and the layout was so bad. I had to do a lot more TLC with it than I expected. And that's kind of on me because I should have checked better and probably jumped the gun a little bit. I'm sorry, guys, but... Thank you for being patient. Mm. Yeah, you, you can kind of um, like, and obviously because I don't need, uh, I don't stick to my sketch layers a hundred percent. Like I don't usually like with those kiosks, so much of it is drawn by hand initially that the sketch thing isn't really an issue. Um, but in this case, um, it is because I'm redrawing this entire frame that I said I wouldn't redraw. I just feel bad though. At least volume 15 is uh, pretty smooth. And um, it's, they originally quoted me the estimate being um, the, the first for printing. So I'm still optimistic that's true. And like that maybe I'll get it by then. But at the same time, I'm starting to get worried because um, it still says on my order that it's processing like is like is there a problem did i mess up a file if so can you please inform me which file i messed up so i can get it fixed oh that's okay i mean if you ever just want a png that's that's doable though at least I, I am a little slumped with work too but but see that's sometimes i need something a little different to break it up So that's why, like, I have some good commissions. I have a couple exciting commission. Uh, I have one exciting commission. I said that sounds awful, but one of the commissions I'm doing, I honestly am not super excited about, and I'm, I, I'm spending the time and energy on it because I want it to look the best. But it's uh, not the most exciting uh, thing. I, like, I don't know how to word it, but um, like, I guess you know how some things are just more interesting than draw the others. Oh, uh, okay. That's fair. Yeah, there's certain things that are interesting to draw. And, like, I like drawing OCs mostly, but I also get really bored when it's, like, the same type of OCs or the same, like, I don't know, like, the same style and stuff. Um, I like to draw, like, a little more, you know, differences. And I think that's how most artists are. I, I really obviously like drawing my own characters, but who wouldn't? You know, you should like drawing your own characters. If you don't, there's a problem. But um, I, I actually think Umishin used to be one of the ones I didn't like drawing them. Like I like drawing the least, but I've gotten kind of used to him now and not in a bad way. Just like I'm like, it's fine to draw him. I don't get like bored drawing him anymore. But yeah, I have some other ones that I'm just like, ugh. and this particular client is, uh, I don't know. I just feel like a lot of his quote unquote OCs is he gives me in some areas super specifics and then other areas not. And then a lot of times it's like, oh, it's based off of like this character. So then I have like an image in my head of what I should be doing, even if it's not quite what he meant. No, I mean, dude, I, I, I technically helped birth you. So that sounds so bad. Hi, Ramlock, howdy, howdy. But yeah, like there's a lot different. And I mean, even that, like, the biggest thing with yours, RTD, is the rigging can get annoying just because uh, I think I have it and then I don't. <laughs> I just realized what's missing. He has no eyes. <laughs> and Mishin doesn't need to see, right? What expression did he actually have? Yeah, he's just Ingers. Ingers. That's why actually I, I can't wait to get back into doing Yeah, no, you're fine. Your yours isn't an issue, really. It's 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 fun because I like the like it's it's one of those character designs. I'm like, I know that you designed it initially. But because I drew the original like some of the original stuff and things like that, it still is just like, yeah. 
I mean, to be fair, there was a while, like, I didn't even want to draw some of those Kiosk characters, so. Like, I used to hate drawing Lillian, and now she's, like, one of my favorites to draw. I'm like so not used to doing this style of eye. How did I do their eyes for the rest of this? They don't even have highlights yet. Oh, okay. But I guess the rest is fine. Oh no, it's just, it's more one of those like, I guess what I learned from when I was studying rigging is a lot different than that. Um, the, but I think it depends on like what the people are using equipment wise and also other things. And I'm guessing with like, because I have so much shading on my art too, you can't just easily like kind of wing it. You have to have everything line up. So it, 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 I totally get it. But at the same time, you know, it's kind of one of those you're like, oh my God. Yeah, so it's not like a horrible thing. It's just more of that. Ugh. I mean, you have to realize I do that with my own stuff too. Yeah. It, wait, was I? Am I not supposed to do eyebrows here? No, I'm not supposed to. Do, God damn it! I want to do eyebrows. <laughs> You can tell how much my art style has changed. I used to not draw eyebrows like this. Okay. There you go. That's better. The Aga Arafal. What? What? It? But yeah. No, anyways, like with this particular person, though, the problem I have is because the OCs aren't really truly OC to me they're they're literally like you're taking pieces of a character and putting them together and I don't mind being like somebody being like okay like it has some influence from this character or whatever but like literally be like I want this guy's jacket on him and I want you know and it it gets a little frustrating because there's not a lot of freedom to it or creativity and like it's weird because in some cases like sometimes I want to draw fan art because it's characters I haven't drawn but something like that I just feel like because it's such a mix of things I, I don't know it just bothers me and I get bored with it and that's a problem what but yeah so it, it's just a weird a weird thing so you know Wong is definitely not here. I don't know what you're talking about. Now he's working on something, but yeah, he's in the room. He he's apparently says he's doing voices. Invoices. Invoices. In invoices. What? Invoices, not in voices. <laughs> he's more actually working. Oh my god, I'm so tired, guys. My brain. <laughs> My brain. <laughs> I, I was like, what does that mean? The voices in his head have taken over, guys. I mean, I talk to the comics at work sometimes. <laughs> Weird noises. Okay, that I can do on a basis. It's cool, I get it. Yeah, no. I think we all, like, I don't know. It's just, these months have definitely just been so tiring and it's just gonna get worse because, you know, the holiday season. I remember when I used to like the holiday season. I, I still don't hate it. I just, a lot of, it's there's a lot of unnecessary stress that goes on. I don't know how many of you guys are either on the Akiva Soul Discord or saw me on social media post about it or in my own Discord. Uh, yeah, I, I packed 95 boxes. Not orders, boxes. Because the reason I say boxes, not orders, is some of them got combined. So it ended up being like um, more or less. Or it was more orders, but they got combined. So it ended up being less boxes. Yeah. 
But anyways, so that was my weekend. I packed 95 boxes and they were, some were pretty big. It was, it was something. There's a lot of boxes. Yeah, I know. Thank you, Wong. Yeah, no, it's actually like, that's just it though. Everyone in the chat is always like, in the Discord is always so great about it. It was a lot, but it's not like I'm like, oh God, this is the worst thing in the world. I've done way worse, but it, it's fun too, in some ways. It just sometimes is one of those like, with my high pain all the time, it's just like, fuck. Oh, look, the bot is talking to me. <laughs> why, why are you the bot? Don't worry about it, man. Oh, God. <laughs> I was like, I just realized it's almost December, so I need to go in for my blood work and see if my iron is okay. Or if my, my white blood cells are still like, the fuck you doing and fighting off the ferritin. Because you know, bodies. Science. What the fuck am I doing here? Something looks really off compared to the other one. I don't know. It's close enough, right? I said I was not going to spend too much time on this. Like, this is, I already said I wasn't going to redraw these pages, and I'm already doing that. So I need to stop, like, being such a perfectionist. They already look so much better, like, eons better than they did 17 years ago. So it's so funny because so far I've just mostly been drawing over, but this one I'm like literally just. Drawing entirely new art. <laughs> well, I definitely part of it too, I think, is uh, just I've been getting more excited about like my own characters because they, you know, like I said, I mean, I, the, those kids got published in Antarctic Press and uh, it will be in Tomorrow Girl issue four. Which is, comes out December 20th, I believe? It's kind of weird because there's not any Tomorrow Girl in it at all. Although I've done like that short Tomorrow Girl story that was in uh, issue one. It was literally five pages, it's that short. Uh, this Chaos one is 16 pages, so it's quite a bit longer. Um, but yeah, no, it's just, it's cool because I'm like, oh my God, my babies are getting love. But yeah, with that OC, that particular commission, it's just kind of like, I don't know. And then another one commission I have is Star Ocean based. So like, fuck yeah. Yeah, and I'm still doing like comics for people, which is cool, but also my God, can it get tedious? Cause yeah, I mean, as you can see here, it's not necessarily a slow thing. And like, since this is more of a redraw and all you've already seen, like you can already tell some of this is already redrawn. What am I doing here? Um, yeah, so like, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, typically these pages um, take a lot take a lot of time and when they're characters and stuff or people I'm not really like familiar with it's even like harder to do because obviously you got to know them like that's why actually um one of the commissions I'm doing is uh you probably have seen the parts two, one and two already because there's one more part for now um I feel horrible because I've been so slow but it's it's just a lot of freaking work but um, yeah, because I've been working with the same characters now during the this, this story parts, I'm getting to the point where I'm like, I'm starting to get used to them and I don't have to reference every bit about them. And that's always makes it easier. And in the case of this, obviously, because I didn't know the characters, it's based off of some, you know, like little silly things in their D&D &D stuff. So they're giving me the content and the story and even kind of being like, okay, well, I kind of want to do this. What do you, how many... It, that's actually the best thing about um, Ho Ho Ho. Yeah, you too. <laughs> the, one of the best things about that commission specifically, though, is the fact that um, because of the way we're doing it um, and they are realizing that, like, they don't understand, like, pacing, like, they'll give me, like, I would like to do this. Is this going to work as a, you know, a 
four page story and I had to be like, no, you can't get it that small. Uh, so we had to break it up differently and things like that, or we had to simplify stuff, so. It makes it a lot easier when they're willing to work with you like that. Uh, I'm also been working on a, another comic for somebody, which I'm doing the entirety of. Uh, they are doing the story of it. And then I am literally sending them. I've been, I did the character designs already. They're paying me in batches because it's a very, it's going to be a very expensive project. Uh, it, it's going to be printed eventually too, but yeah, so it's, it's like an original comic, obviously. Uh, but it's actually story-based and I think it's going to be 25 pages when it's done. I should know. I have the entire script and I can't tell you, but I've been, you know, doing a little every time they pay me. So I'm sorry guys. I don't have the energy to do this without getting paid. Oh, God damn it. That looks really bad. Um... Uh... Oh yeah, guys, uh, I don't think any many of you guys have access to it, but I forgot. There's a new emote here. I just kind of slid it in without saying anything because I do that. Look, new emote. If you're on my Patreon, you've already seen it. but And if you're on the Discord, you may have already noticed it. But yeah, I did finish one of my emotes finally. It's like my little frustrated one. So like the story of my life. Yes, Wong, you have access to it. You definitely do. RTD probably does too. Yeah. <laughs> so like you guys are probably the gang that has access to it. I'm sorry. It is, it is limited to subscribers because I have no more free spots left. But yeah, I, I basically, during all of these like commissions, I'm trying to take some breaks and do like a small piece for myself. And the emotes are like perfect because they're small, very small and don't take much time. Check it out. Why would you highlight that? <laughs> Why? Wong, what is wrong with you? See, what, what am I seeing? Oh my god. <laughs> You're right, Specker does do that. Wong came over and literally did it with his hands to me. <laughs> yeah, see he needs to get up and stretch every now and then too from work. We probably will I'll probably figure out something small and easy for dinner after this too, because we were both not super hungry when I got home. There we go. Okay, so now if we do that right, uh, blah, 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 we'll do it like that. <laughs> yeah, actually, currently right now, though, I am um, one of my quote unquote break things. It's something I need to get done for Zos Kiosk Volume 15. So like when it comes in, it's one of the reward things that needs to go out with it. It's one of the prints and um, two of them were not drawn by me. So it's one of the ones not drawn by me. I've been coloring it though, cause I'm coloring both of them and oh my God, it's coming out. So it like, their art is just so fabulous. The other art, strangely, strangely I say that it's not strange, but the other art that I have to color is actually not of Lillian or Calic. It's of uh, Alexandria. It also came out pretty awesome. I just hope I can, that one's a, because it's a quite a bit different style than I'm used to. At least with the, oh my God, I forgot his, oh no, he doesn't, I haven't drawn his pants yet. I was like, oh my God, he's pantsless. Guys, Umishin's not wearing pants again. Lowriders. What's wrong with this boy? I don't know. Oh my. I mean, it's just Umishin, guys. Unless one of you guys thinks he's sexy, then I'm sorry to have offended you. Now, I tease Umishin a lot, but I do, I actually, like, it was really funny at the beginning, because, like, obviously he's had some character development. He's gotten a little less obnoxious over the time. Um, you gotta, you gotta have character development in a story. Um, I love how I'm like detailing this and even though I'm like none of the other pages have this kind of detail on his muscles. I'm sorry guys. It's it's me being weird. But yeah, um, one of the things that um, 
I well, like even early on, I was always like, God, nobody likes Umishin because he would never take any of the top like spots in the character polls. Light had managed to get up in the top five before, but no, Umishin never. Well, I found out later on that it actually wasn't that people didn't like Umishin. It was just like he was like their second fave or something. So it was just a really weird thing. Nowadays, I think he's probably dropped way lower than that for most people because there's a lot of other characters that are like amazing comparatively. Especially once you get time to like work them with them. Like obviously right now Lillian is pretty high up. Um, Kalik actually has claimed the first spot though. It used to always be like a fight between um, Lily and uh, Kazuhiko for the first spot. And Lillian was always not that far behind. But because you know she didn't really do. Had really hadn't had like her big reveals and stuff. She wasn't as active in the story. And so then like when she got active like it exploded for sure. But then, um, after the doppelganger arc, Lily went down for obvious reasons. If you guys, I'm not going to spoil it, but yeah, so, you know, that, that came. And so she got dethroned by Kazuhiko finally, officially and kept dethroned. And then Kali came in and like barely was there and got like. Yeah, he, he pretty much uh, dethroned Kazuhiko almost like right away. And at first it was more of an even uh, like, oh, they're not that far apart. But like now it's not even a, it's not even like he is so high, so high in votes. Like when I did that last poll, like Kazuhiko did get second, but it was like and Lillian got third. But like Kazuhiko and Lillian were like one point away from each other where Kalik was like 20 points out of Kazuhiko. I was like, what the fuck, dude? And that was even before the cute stuff he just did in the latest storyline. So I'm like, oh, you guys love him. You love my little demented dog boy. Thank you. I love him too. I am happy that Viridian's doing so well with characters. So I really like her. She's such a dumbass. Guys, did you know I like the really dumb characters sometimes? I like the ones that are smart and dumb. That makes no sense, but that's what I like. I think in general, I just like the really nerdy characters. Be they nerds about like something in a smart way or a dumb way. Yes, fries. I like fries too. Actually though, I don't know if you guys know, only a handful of those GF characters have uh, birthdays set. Uh, and Kazuhiko's was November 21st. So he did have his birthday in my world, in my mind. There's, I think uh, other than that, uh, I believe lights is April 17th. Uh, Natasha's is May 13th. Umishin's, I think, is sometime in August or June. I don't remember his. You can tell which characters I like the best. <laughs> um, after that, a lot of... I think uh, Lillian is December, actually. Um, after that, I didn't really... A while, I just stopped. No, I because I'm pretty sure Randy's is August. So that means uh, Umishin's should be June then. Like, I know, like, birthdays can coincide with horoscopes and personalities, but I know shit about that. So I go with the blood type thing for personalities. I don't know how many of you guys know that either. Like, the reason that you always see blood types in uh, the Japanese anime ones is because they're, uh, they say personality and blood type, like, affect each other. So the best way to explain it, because each blood type represents a different um, characteristic is um they they once had a like uh what are they called a variety show is that it yeah they did a variety show where they had um like groups of kids from each of the three blood types the major ones you know a b and o um they were competing against each other in like different tasks and one of the tasks specifically was they had to move water from one fish tank to another um so i don't like those those are too big Basically, um, you know, they were given, they could pick whatever, however they wanted to do it. Um, you know, whatever tools, things like that. They were give, given them within limitation. So uh, blood type A is known for being more meticulous, cautious, um, taking the slower route, even if it means, if it's careful or even if it means taking a longer, you know, time to do it. They basically took spoons, uh, smaller spoons and moved the stuff uh, one at a time, the water one at a time over to the other tank from the one tank. 
So blood type B is known for being more brash, like uh, Naruto from, you know, Boruto's father. No, Naruto from Naruto is a B blood type. Um, and he is, uh, like, they're known for being more brash. So they tried to pick up the two tanks, or pick up the one tank and pour it into the other one. So that, that's more what you expect from them. They like the, fi the quick, fast solutions. Even if they're not exactly always the best. Um, so then last but not least, blood type O, they tend to be more... Um, I don't like using the term manipulative because that's not quite it. They, they think... Like, I don't even know if I'd say they think outside the box, but they put a lot more thought into it. And because of that, they're known as being like more manipulative and more like shifty but i don't really think that's that's how it is um my blood is ao so i think i have a bit of both of those although i also have b because i would totally fucking throw that fish tank but um yeah anyways uh they switched the two tanks that's all they did <laughs> never said you couldn't do that so yeah it's like that's where they get that so if you can you can usually figure out what kind of personality a character is going to have in an anime by looking at their blood type or vice versa you can kind of guess their blood type based on their personality so Like for instance, uh, Umishin is a is a B blood type. Light is an A. Kazuhiko is actually A B, so because he's got elements of both. I never actually thought as far as Calic, but he'd probably be O. Man, if he wasn't if he wasn't all like cursed and stuff, he would be totally stoic. Well, like I said, that's it's because they switched to two fish tanks. It's it's more of a to me. It's more of like they use their heads a lot more, which is why I'm like, I, as somebody who is, like, I know I ha I can't be full A because um my parents were A A O O and O O O O. You know, if you go to that allele chart that we did in back in the days of you know when we were younger in school, so I have to be A O no matter what the way it's set up. I you, there's no double A for me. Um, obviously they didn't think in terms of that either, but yeah, like I definitely don't necessarily like, I can be careful about things, but I, I like the whole fish switching the fish tank and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think that's probably one of the best solutions in all of that. So yeah, like I said, I don't feel like manipulate manipulative is really good for it. Um, if you guys have seen the character, the series orphan orphans, blood type is O and he's does do some brash things and he i he can be manipulative but also i just think he's very intelligent and so like maybe intelligence is more of a thing or like but yeah that's that's what they always would like say but i don't i don't think manipulative is like the right phrase for it but that's my personal opinion i mean that's still the study one it's been years since i read that and it was it was just interesting and obviously just like with everything it's that whole you know stereotypes exist because they 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 look at a small specific study of a group and then they just assume you know oh well these these people fit that stereotype therefore that's the new stereotype but you know it's not always going to be correct i mean cuz why would it If you guys don't know a single thing about statistics, you're about to learn one major thing. Statistics are very easily skewed. Yay! Well, I wanted to stream, but that's why I was like, I was totally okay not doing an arts team and playing a game where I didn't have to focus as much. But also, this just gets me off at my, my normal time to uh, actually go and do the work I have to do. Ooh. Because Akiba Soul stuff should come in around then. And I'm going to have to... I have to do orders in the morning. Ooh, who would do that? I've already done 95. Isn't that enough? Have a safe trip home, RTD. I will probably not be on by the time you get back. Because I'm only going to be on for a few more minutes. But I can now sit and go back to my regularly scheduled enjoyment for the evening. I've been coloring that art of Lillian and just loving it. But because it's not my liner, I didn't want to do it on stream. I'm sorry guys. It's gonna be so gorgeous though. If yeah, like I said, if you're if you 
I posted her butt on my Facebook today. I'm sorry, that is my personal account though. I did it on my personal account. Although I have a lot of people from different various groups on there now. Cause I don't fucking care. You guys all know who I am. You Google my name, you find me. So like legit, cause it's the same name I used to write under. I use a VTuber model because I don't want to wear pants. <laughs> I'm wearing pants. I'm wearing pajama pants, but that's just it. I'm in like comfy clothes, the comfy clothes. I have nothing wrong with how people want to stream. Just let them do what they want. To be fair too, it's really funny whenever people are like, oh man, what's your lore? And I'm like, it's me. My lore is me. So that's why the French fry thing, it was a joke thing, but I do really like French fries. And it's just kind of stuck, so I'll keep it. French fries. Nom, 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 nom. Do I have to draw his feet too? Oh my God, please say I don't have to draw his feet. Oh, thank God. I don't want to draw his fucking feet. I don't like drawing feet. His shoes are really weird in this outfit too. I'm gonna probably, yeah, usually I stay on for like the hour mark when it's art streams because of how distracted I get, but I am gonna try to finish it's like four minutes till so i don't know if i'll get all this line art done in that time so i'm gonna try to stay on long enough just to get this line art done of him and then make, make it match in better yeah like i said typically uh, this was not supposed to be a full redraw like this i just this particular scene and the way it was standing i was like there is no way in hell i can just leave this as is it was bothering me too much got little skinny jeans. Skinny jeans. I wonder if I made his like thigh is too thick though. You can tell I didn't even finish what I was doing there. Oh my god, because I have uh this is this is a separate layer, so yeah, I need to finish that light over there. That's where I left off. I see now. I didn't know where I left off, so I just went to the hair. Because I could tell I still had to do this. So I'm like, I'll just go over here. And yeah, like I said, just, I'm trying not to spend too much time in perfecting. Like, I normally really want to, but... It's, it's just, you know, called. I need to do just enough to get it done and have it look really good. Ah, all right, time to block somebody. How do I do that? Uh... Oh, here we go. No, stop it. Stop it, I don't add them. Stop it. There we go, block them. You are removed, goodbye. You know what, it's been really good. Oh, he already got him, thank you. Thank you, RTD, I'm slower than you. Well, like, and the thing is, too, is I have it so it's all, um, you know, set up where you can't, like, post links or anything. And that was doing a really good job at for a while for getting bots. But now, you know, they're not doing that as much and they're starting to do this shit. I think I've probably told you guys this before, but, like, one of my favorite things to do is when a bot, like, messages me, especially on, like, Twitter or Discord, and is like... Oh, hey, I do commissions or things if you need your own stuff, blah, blah, blah. So I'm always like, oh, man, me too. Here are my rates. <laughs> I go back and use it on them too. Reverse Uno card that shit. I mean, like, seriously, if you guys ever really need emotes or, like, design stuff, you're welcome to talk to me. If you're friends, especially, I'll give you good rates. <laughs> sell it for a good price now nah, i mean i know how hard it is to do some of the stuff if you don't have like the abilities and stuff too and i know that's one of the biggest things i see in the indie author world oh my fucking god hire a goddamn designer some of these book covers coming out are so bad i i just am like why did anybody ever tell you this was okay why did you ever think it was okay but to them, they're like, it's amazing. Like, no, no, it's not. Um, there's no nice way to say no. Hire someone. I try to be nice, but I also like one of my hobbies, one of my mean hobbies, I guess, is going into like some of the indie author groups I'm on on Facebook. Uh, and just like whenever somebody shares a cover they made, just ripping it apart. Like I, I do it nicely, but I'm like, okay, you should do this, this, this. You need to do this. The text is illegible. Why do you have four different fonts on here? Please don't ever touch comic songs. 
can use that other font that's similar to it. That is fine. It's not the look itself that's the problem. It's the way that it, the way that the spacing and the leading and stuff are. So from a design point of view, it's awful. Yeah, everyone teases me about my hatred of Comic Sans, but it's it's like a legit thing for designers. Because everyone's like, well, for dyslexic, I'm like, yes, but there are specific fonts that look similar to Comic Sans, but have actual, like, text proper formatting. As somebody who is dys dyslexic, of course I fucking know that. Don't you, don't you try to... Speak the words to me, you ch children, for that I was there when it was written. Okay, most of them are actually older than me, but because, like, yeah, typography and stuff is always part of design. Oh man, is that it? Did I finish your mission? What the hell happened? Oh my god, he looks so sa sassy. I think. Did I make his legs too small? Is that what it is? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? He looks so weird. Did I make his torso too long? Something is like horribly off here. I think it might be the legs. Mm. I mean, it still definitely looks better than that old one where his hands weren't even in the right placement. I'm gonna like shrink his waist a bit. But yes, guys, it's okay if you can't do everything yourself. It's okay to ask for help. Also, Fiverr is full of a lot of, like, fake people. So you got to be really careful. It was so weird when I first started um, streaming with other VTubers that I didn't know, like, that I hadn't met through, like, friends and stuff or randomly met on my own uh, in some of the VTuber groups. Like, we would do, like, huge collabs. And, like, sometimes I would end up with the same the same avatar like the same icon in it because they both had hired the same person on uh fiverr and i was like oh god that's awful like they couldn't even make another model they used the exact same one for two people like i'm so sorry guys So it would get really confusing when I was like trying to set up like the, we were trying to set up all the assets because you suddenly have the same person in there twice. Also, you have so many people on Fiverr who are like, I do this. And then they'll like take other people's, you know, um, examples because that's a big thing. That's, uh, one of the, one of the groups I'm in, uh, I think it definitely shows up more on Facebook than anything. It's, it's always the Facebook versions of these groups. Where you get all these people who are like, oh man, I can make you this and that. And then they'll show you all their samples. But um, I'm that asshole who goes and looks at them and is like, oh, hey, I see the attribute on here. It is not you. You did not make this. They're like, well, I can make stuff like it. I'm like, yes, but you need to show your own examples, not other people's. If you guys ever want to get into like commissioning. Oh, sigh. How could you? How could you? I mean, I can't say I haven't used the like Alibaba and I do have a Fiverr account that I don't use like I have it because I have my prices up there just because people kept bugging me about it but I don't expect to ever get work on there I think the only thing I've ever had people show an interest in is because I can do the V the V-Roid models but like I do those outside of Fiverr too and I definitely wasn't gonna like give this guy who wanted it for like super cheap I'm like dude I custom make all of my own uh assets and stuff for them, like the clothes and the, the textures, like, fuck, no, you're not getting it for super cheap. That's a lot of work. I mean, I'm not going to charge you. Like some of them are like, they're not ridiculous. The ones are like that are charging, like, you know, a couple thousand dollars. I totally get why, especially for not for the V-Rays as much, but for like the, the, uh, what do you call them? Um, the live 2D. God, I hate like doing live 2D myself. Okay. That looks a little better, I think. He still looks a little dirt, but it's Umishin, so I think I'll let that pass. All right, cool. So yeah, I went over my hour. Oh, I'm so sorry for you. Did it at least come out okay? Ooh, that's the worst. Okay, but as long as it's beautiful and not, I hope it's not like one that is like duplicated and they just like made you one. 
It was too cool for me. I think it's fine. You should have fun with it. Like in my case, I obviously made my own, but I made it purposely look like me. The only difference is I'm not actually an elf, guys. I'm sorry. I had a red streak in my hair. I was custom made and rigged for VR chat. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah. No, that's cool. Um, a lot of times for my friends, like I did Kohaku's and uh, Twifu's that you've both seen now, um, A-Rex's, that you've seen on various streams, or even if it was just static. Um, and I even have one for RTD. RTD's was a lot more um, hand done, but those two were actually ones that we just, we bought some, uh, like there's, we got some of the free to use uh, assets on uh, PM booth and uh, just went ahead and, you know, used them because I was like, I'm just giving them something to work with. The, adding the 3D coffee to Twifu's hand, I didn't. I didn't make the model, but that was me adding it. That was that was fun. If you ask her how much times her arm was upside down and stuff. <laughs> and then uh, for Kohaku, I made like the texture of her tights and stuff myself. And like, um, what we were talking about because she's a patsier, she wanted to, like a baker. She wanted to put like cream on her face, and I was like, oh fuck, we got to be really careful about this. So if we go white, it becomes lewd. If we go um, brown, it looks like she just shat all over herself. <laughs> so we went, we went pink. <laughs> what is strawberry? <gasps> what is that? It, wait, that doesn't even look like that kind of stuff. Is this crab dip? Okay. As you can see, I'm being called for dinner. There's a plate bowl next to me. <laughs> I love crab. Uh, uh, snow crab is my favorite. Good. As you should. Yeah, they really, they really is a lot of stuff in there. All right. But yes, Seiyuki always. I love it, but it's so awful. Translating it was hilarious though. So if you ever read the manga, especially the one, like if you see PKR, Project Kurai Ryu, that was uh, my, me as a translator, like the author notes and stuff. We went into a lot of detail on it, but we also did a lot of stuff for shits and giggles. So just a fair warning. All right, so I am going to go ahead and get off. But first, let us go ahead and find somebody to read. I'll go ahead and stop this music. Ugh, this is tedious music. It's been on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. But um, anyways, so we're going to find someone to read. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Let me move uh, my magic cards here. I was scanning magic cards earlier. Guys, I have problems. But anyways, um, so let's find somebody to raid. I don't know if there'll be any stream. It's going to be a weird week, so we might end up trying to stream. I want to play some more lethal uh, company. I'm also going to try to, I'm going to see about getting it for a kitten too. Oh, Hirosaki, it's Tales of Tuesday. Of course we can go ahead. Oh man, we're watching the good girl too. See a nice ass there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go get Hidusaki and watch him do some fishing, I guess. I'm horrible at the fishing in that game. But yeah, Tales of Arise, by the way. <laughs> I'm just staring. All right. So thank you guys for joining me. Let us go. Woo!